I've always liked vintage cars. These older cars are throwback to when it's just you and the transmission and the engine and the wheels. You feel much more connected to the machine. The machine speaks more to you than your modern cars do. It's a much purer sense of driving. My name is Dwight Tyndall. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. And I'm on the Copper State 1000. I came from a very small town. In small town America, there are only three things. There's cars, football, and girls. And frankly, Mark Moskowitz was not very good at football. Copper State is one of those events that everybody wants to do. You're surrounded by a group of people who are interested in the same things that you're interested in. And they bring to the table some great cars. A lot of people love to collect cars. But to get them out and really run them and exercise them with like-minded people is, is just a joy. Being able to drive these cars is what it's all about. The danger with having a nice classic car is that you, you over-respect it and you don't actually do what you should do with it, which is get it out on the road and, and shake it down. The engines get warm, they settle down, the cars get better during the event. These are cars that if you were driving along through a town, you would stop, put your car on the side of the road so you could go take a look at them. There are great early Alphas. There are great little bit later Alphas, like an Alpha Montreal. Obviously some fast Porsches, a few pre-war cars, and all sorts of Ferraris. 330 GTCs, Ferrari Daytonas. And so I'm running around with 90 of them. These older cars are beautiful to look at, beautiful to be around, beautiful to work on. It's nice to be with a bunch of other people who love vintage cars and being able to drive them the way they're meant to be driven. This is different. Beyond the cars, you know, Arizona is a beautiful part of the country. Beautiful vistas, open spaces. There are spots where you can see 80 miles into the horizon. And for most of us who live in big cities, where you can't see beyond two blocks, it's a chance to come and see a part of the country that you wouldn't have a chance to visit. For most of us who have stressful lives and obligations, it's just a chance to escape and to experience these cars.
thing really is the sense of comradeship. We all come from different parts, actually, of the world, as it turns out, but we have a shared love. Just looking at the painted desert and the colours and the natural beauty of northern Arizona, I think, is the one that always gets me. Nice as the cars are, you can't beat the natural beauty of, uh, of this part of the world. And what's great about this rally is that there's a shared desire to get everybody to the other end. It's, it, it's almost an allegory of life a little bit. We're all helping ourselves on, on, on the journey. I can't sit around at the end of a golf game and talk about this hole and that hole, but with all the guys and, and gals here, we can sit around at the end of a day and talk about this turn and that turn. So we really have a great time. The camaraderie is great, the organization is great, and it's a first class event. It's open top motoring, the wind in my face. I kind of feel like I am a soulmate of the people who drove this car back in the 1950s. You know, long after I'm gone, hopefully the eighth person or the ninth person or the tenth person to own this car will be able to sample the same things I've been able to sample. And maybe, like all these guys, I've been able to preserve that legacy a little bit more for others to enjoy.